Tesla's pace of innovation, you know, that chart they showed in their shareholder letter, their lead and range gap has expanded. You know, their mm. battery technology lead is actually expanding because they're innovating mm. so much faster than anybody else. And like, they're going to, that's what they're going to talk about at Battery Master. It's, it's unbelievable to me. So what would you say to the people who think, okay, well, GM has just as much money. LG Chem has been doing this for longer. Mm. The competition is coming, you know? As much as us Tesla people think that's a joke, but like mm -hmm. for someone who's not listen, for, who's not in the know and who's not in the Tesla world, you know why is Tesla so much further ahead here? And is anyone remotely close to coming up with something like the Maxwell cell technology? Well, the the truth of the matter is there is a lot of people working on this. Um, Tesla has a lot of deep relationships across the research community. Uh, there's a slide that I showed in the video I did on Shirley Mung where it shows the Battery 500 Consortium and all the key players are there. Uh, I think it's a, a, a project that was kicked off by the Department of Energy. But anybody who knows anything about, I mean, John Goodenough is on that panel. Um, uh, there's a, sta a Stanford researcher, I think his name is E. Kui, and he's a, one of the lead researchers, Shirley Mung. J.B. Straubel is on the board, Maxwell is on the board. All these different groups of people working on this technologies are all meeting on a regular basis. It's a small community to push this forward. Um, and so Tesla has first dibs on all this technology because they're sitting on the board. Um, and it's also, there's a lot of people, as I was saying earlier, there's a lot of different people working on these technologies, but Tesla is in a position where they can integrate all these technologies more quickly than anybody else, as well as having first dibs. So I think if they are able to roll out this Maxwell technology on battery day, it would put them uh, probably two or three years uh, ahead of anybody else. There's two or three other people working on dry uh, battery electrodes. Um, as far as the single crystal uh, coating technologies, uh, those are all actually, actually already fully commercialized in China. So there is competition there. But um, I think Tesla, uh, this, they're going to leap ahead, whereas before they were just kind of neck and neck.